What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to do some judgment. Um, is music on? There it goes. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Yeah, look, we're number one still. Hope we can keep that for the week. Um, judgment, use gold. Yeah, I was thinking about playing ranked on my alt account, Nerp the Ninja, but I, because I don't want to play ranked on my main account, obviously, because I'm number one, but... Uh, I'll just play some Judgment, and it looks pretty good. Sister of the Owl, Kinfolk Ranger, Kinfolk Veteran looks perfect. A lot of good cards here. And this first three rows. Oh, let me, some guys, some of you guys asked me to, ask me what happened in my previous Judgment run. So the last Judgment video, that awesome energy deck with like a mono energy range deck, Bombard, Automatic Forge, four burns, stuff like that. Yeah, I went 5-0 with that deck, and then I played another Judgment after that, and I went 5-0 with that also. So let's continue the 5-0 streak. It might even stretch longer than those two runs. I think I had one or two 5-0s before that. So let's continue the streak. And it looks like off to a good start with three really good growth scrolls. This next row doesn't look as good. But then there's a Wetland Ranger, which is awesome. And another Kinfolk Veteran. I'm not sure if I'm incredibly lucky in Judgment. Because I tend to draft really strong decks in Judgment pretty often. Um, here, in case we have to go into second color, it's probably... None of these cards are that good, though, so I'll just take the Eager Star, because it's probably the best of those. Um, and then a Champion Ring's pretty good, so it's Frost Scale. Let's see. What do we want? Uh, how about... What are we going to take here? Yeah, the, the Growth Power kind of left us a little bit. I think I'll take Champion Ring. Now, Dry Power is okay for Growth. Here... I'll take the Ironclad Reaver. Owl. It goes with Sister of the Owl. Let's see. Energy is a cool splash. Yeah, I'll take the Spark over the Tridesman. Or the Tridesman. I don't know. Okay. Tr spark. Yeah, there's good. Sister of the Owl eventually I'll have to decide that. Owl's pretty good. A road is interesting. Let's see. A mangy wolf and a bear paw. Vengeful Vetter, Sister of the Bear. Which one? Which one? Vengeful Vetter is like a better a better scroll for its value. Two cause. It can really put you ahead by getting a bunch of resources. Sister of, Bell's, Sister of the Bear is kind of bad. Four cost, four to four. I mean, yeah, I guess it's fine. We do already have some nice large-ish creatures. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Vengeful Vetter. I like the early drop. Erode can give us decay and some damage to structure, so I'll take that. Pertinence is down, that's interesting. Another Kinfolk Ranger is cool. So Bear Paw or Mangy Wolf. Do not I don't have any other wolves right now, so I should probably take the Bear Paw. But if I get other wolves, Mangy Wolf could be really cool. And the only thing that's one count on I have is a one Rattlin Ranger, so I don't think Bear Paw is gonna be that useful so far, so I'll take the Mangy Wolf. Um Stitcher Appurtenance. It has Replenish. I don't have that many beasts though. But it has Replenish, which I can splash into other colors with it. So I'll take the Appurtenance. Rose of, no, I thought it was Rose of Bean Frozen for a second. It's not. Appurtenance. Okay, so now Stone Pack Memorial can make it orderish. But Kinfolk Ranger, I think, is a better card to take here. So I'll take the Kinfolk Ranger. Another Kinfolk Ranger. Um, Ember Bonds, Crown of Strength, Stitcher. Let's see, we have a, a Year's Dryer. And we have a couple of energy stuff. I think we'll take this. I mean, the energy stuff might be good to splash. But we do have... We have a... A road, so that might get us some decay. So I'll take the Stitcher. Here, oh, Berserker, that's pretty good. So Bear Paw, Kinfolk Ranger, Berserker... Another vengeful vet. Oh, that's a really strong row. Um, I guess most of the rare rows are pretty strong. So here, it's almost actually decent, but I think I'd rather have another vengeful vet. I could go with a bear paw. How many creatures are we at? Eleven creatures already, and we have a bunch of two drops. We have a vengeful vet and I think three kinfolk rangers. Do we want another vengeful vet? We don't have like. We only go up to five growth right now, so we might not need the extra resources. We don't. Ha I don't have like a growth champion or something like that. Um, I'm definitely going to take this binder down here. It's like pseudo-removal. 
But I actually, you know, I am going to take the Ventral better. I just don't feel like Bear Paw will be that good because it increases your countdown by one for a turn, too. So Ventral better. That's good. Stripes Fang Bear is a nice card to get. So Fierce Tactics stays on color, and it could really come in handy because I have, like, a Berserker and stuff like that. Um, Binding Root Suit or Removal. Down here, we're not getting as great stuff. Another Kinfolk Ranger and a Noadi. That does not have replenish on the live server, which is a little annoying. So let's see, we're already at 20. We might we're probably gonna go with the mono growth deck to be honest. So we don't have to worry about multi resources that multi resource that much. Ducal Spearman, Dust Runner, Trouble Memorial. I guess I could take this for a little bit more rep. I don't know. Probably not gonna use it. Frostbear is decent. Sometimes it can work like a Crimson Bull. Um, Noadi or Skythorn. Skythorn is nice protection. Noadi is another creature. I don't think I need another creature. I think I should focus on getting bigger creatures now. Skythorn, I will. I think I'll take here. I mean, I could get some decay from the Noadi, but it doesn't replenish. I don't love it. So Skythorn, um, Frostbeard. Okay, there's another Mangy Wolf and a Brother of the Wolf. That's exactly what I want to get. Not much great stuff down here, though. I guess Waking Stones could be cool to use. And not much stuff again. So here, Brother of the Wolf or Mangy Wolf. We have one Mangy Wolf, but we're definitely going to take the Brother of the Wolf. Brother of the Wolf is a very good 4-drop. So we'll take the Brother. Um, and we'll take the Sister of the Bear there, so that's another nice, hardy creature. Here, I guess I'll take the Pesta Simulator. I don't know, Plating. Uh, so another Skythorn. And I've another binding root, rod eater. Not getting the great growth stuff anymore, but I think our deck is okay. Um, I'm almost tempted to go return to nature because I can get growth with it, and it's some nice removal. Beast, what are two sky thorns gonna do for me? Return to nature because I am getting decay from a road, but we might we might go mono growth anyway. See, I think we might go mono growth anyway, so I won't go to return to nature. I'll go sky thorn. Skythorn, Binding Root, and then something here, I don't know, Speed. Getting a lot of Decay stuff now. Brought another Ventral Fighter. Come on, I need a big growth guy. I really want to get like a Yarl or something, or maybe a Great Wolf. Something, another like 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 growth drop. Um, Light Bear. Better. Gravehawk's pretty good to buff, but I did sacrifice those bear paw so right now it's not get really getting buffed um darkling fertile soil harvester too i think we'll take the fertile soil though it's like a big ramping deck i feel like i have but i don't have any creature higher than five but do a bunch of veterans i'm not totally sold on this deck i don't know if it's going to do that well i think it is going to be mono growth and we don't get another big growth creature so do we have enough for a mono deck i think we do just in case we don't make sure we're still taking good cards and let's see okay let's see this deck i guess it's good all right we want both binaries as removal even if we don't have a decay we might want a road to destroy stuff let's see what do we definitely want we we'll definitely want uh, that bear paw champion ring probably gonna frost gun might come in handy all Four rangers, the three ventral vetters. I guess have all these resources. Frost beard, both sky thorns, brother of the wolf, fertile soil, fierce tactics, mangy. I guess. Okay, it's pretty decent, I think. And then we could add two, and I think it's gonna be an owl. Or do we need the nineteenth creature? I don't think owl's that good. What about a road? A road. Should I go with like an Erode and one Darkling? <laughs> I could win just by with that one Darkling. I don't think we're going to want Vitality. Well, Pertinence, we, how many beasts do we have? We just have Wolves. We, we have Fang Bear, Angie Wolf. Pertinence might be good. We're going to cost zero. We have Owls or Beasts, right? Yeah. Um, I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with the appurtenance and the owl. I know it might be good just to have them on a road, but 
I do hope to get a big creature that he can't destroy. So no Oak Bloods, no Wildlings, not like a super strong deck, but it is a mono, it's a mono aggro growth deck, so hopefully it's not too bad. So just call it aggro growth. Oh, let's export this. Uh, let's see. Copy, copy to clipboard. Make sure I save this somewhere. What the heck is Notepad? All right, yeah, so I can put that in the description of the video so that you all can copy paste that into scrolls if you want to see the deck. And let's find a judgment match very fast. Please, please, please. Usually find judgment matches faster on the first run, on the first game of the run. So, yeah, be back when a match is found. Woohoo, found a match. Okay. We go first against Lazy Sleeper. Um, definitely very bad starting hand considering we had like a ton of two drops. So many two drops in this deck. The fact that there's no two drop in my hand right now means I have to mulligan. Alright, there we get a couple two drops. Okay, so play on turn two, play on turn three, play on turn four, five. I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice one Kinfolk Ranger, even though that means I might not have a turn three play. I'm hoping I can top deck something for turn three or another turn two drop. But I really want to keep both that veteran and the sister of the owl. These veterans not too useful as a five drop if you don't have anything to kill with it. Alright, um, so this is, yeah, good. Drew a, a Fierce Tactics. I guess it's not good, but, you know. Drew something that I don't really care that I sacrifice right now. Mr. Lazy Sleeper. So, um, some of you also suggested that you wanted to see me play more than one match with the deck. I know Blinky's judgment videos, he goes for the full run in one video and it ends up being like an hour long video. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of, I think the drafting part is the most important part of that you watch. So I do kind of want to keep it like this. Hmm. I'm going to sacrifice the owl for resources. I'm going to hope that Lazy Sleeper cannot destroy this Kinful Ranger this turn so I can fertile soil it next turn. And then I'm going to just come back and destroy him <laughs> but yeah so right now the judgment videos tend to be like longer than normal rank match video because i do the draft in the video as well earth bond okay good so you don't die and now i can i mean i could sacrifice the scrolls and hope to get a champion ring and kill that but i don't think that's worth it so we're sacrificing the appurtenance Fertile soiling. Oh, we would have we would have drawn a champion, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, that's not venerable anymore. So we have to watch out that two attacks coming in every turn. Those braves get out of hand, and they'll take down middle idol before you can even blink. Before you can blink. Okay, there's a brother wolf in front. Okay. Um, it's time to get things together. So, Sister of the Owl, I think, is what comes first. Because veteran, perfect, right in the right spot. And then next turn, I don't know. Actually, actually, I guess that was the right spot. It's gonna be hard because the stupid owls can't move without raising their countdown so annoying flying at least it's changed on the test server so now you can actually move without without getting your your uh owls count time increase and oh no it looks like lazy sleeper might have a more aggro slash better growth deck than i do not good not good um we're gonna sacrifice sister of the bear here i could oh fame bear champion ring could be a nice comeback in this game I am thinking, I'm thinking a veteran, I'm going to sacrifice for, whoops, let me X out of that, 
Okay, I think I want a veteran so I can destroy this. I think. I think that's what I want to do. I'm not sure. Here, let's get rid of the... Actually, let's sacrifice our scrolls. See what we can do. Dryadic power is a good... It was a really good draw, actually, right there. Um... But I don't know. I don't know. If I go... Think... Alright. I don't love this play because he can just move down and destroy both of these guys with uh, his Rose of the Wolf and his Brave. But, whatever. Let's see. And I kind of wish I sacrificed a resource last turn so this turn I can go with a Kindle Governor and Anna Champion Ring. Oh well. I'm pulling the set four attack. And he sacrificed her order and plays a. Switch to the Baron front. Alright, so there. All right, now you have five health. Hmm. Ooh, binding root. I'm gonna keep that binding root. I can go with a triadic power. Because I don't know, veteran just doesn't really do it for me, you know. I'm gonna move. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the Dryadic Power. Move you up. Put a Fang Bear in the back. And stick a Ventral Vetter up here. Maybe it'll get me some more growth. Growth that I probably won't need. So now let's see. Does Sleazy have like a Veteran or something? But this thing can survive. It can do a lot of work with with its relentless with the champion ring. Sinmark Zealot. Okay, I'm not too afraid of that guy, but he could be a little annoying. Okay, Lazy Sleeper is putting pretty strong units at, at turn after turn. A little, a little nervous about this game. Okay. Now, let's see. Ooh, Skythorn is not too bad. Skythorn is not too bad. I don't think I can afford to Skythorn though. I think I should just get a veteran out and destroy this thing. And maybe Binding Root the Brave. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So sacrifice the Skythorn. I have another one. Berserker, but we wanna kill this. So I think I'll go with the Veteran and the binding roots so you can't come up and destroy me right earth bond can't cannot be moved by opponent but i can stop it from moving itself so now hopefully hopefully lazy sleeper does not have a kinfolk veteran because then you could destroy my sister of the owl i should have probably moved this venture letter up so that it's not destroyed by a ragged wolf with another ragged wolf because you could just spawn the ragged wolf and move it up um but next turn, I can champion ring my Fang Bear and hopefully go to work. Okay, so he's moving up. So it looks like if all my if all that happens is my veteran that's not attacking next turn dies, then I will be very happy. Okay, and only one more card in hand. Is that it? Yes. Awesome. But he is does have a nice fort up here. Ooh, Frost Scale. Frost Scale would kill. Frost Gulf kill. Um, you. I really, I don't think I. I don't think I need to Frost Gale. I don't think that is the answer. Um, I'm not gonna sacrifice the resources, even though I could play two things this turn. Then because that Ventral Vetter might get me some resources this turn, anyways. Actually, I don't think it will. Whatever. Skythorn. Okay, so I'll go for the. You guys can kill that, and then I'll just play. I'm gonna fill up the board. I'm going to take. I'm not gonna play just the berserker. I'm going to fill up this. Nah, I'm playing the Berserker. 
Um, I was thinking about playing like just the Gravehawk and Bull Ranger and Champion, Champion Ring on the Gravehawk, because that's Relentless, but I think I, what I did was maybe a little bit better. So, Lazy Sleeper can sacrifice his his Zealot right here and destroy my better or deal two damage to something else, but let's see what he does. Um, that scares me, a real skirmisher, but we both have Relentless stuff. Alright, so that's dead. Um, that's okay, I guess. And seeing as this thing is the only thing attacking, I think I do want to move up. Because I want to, he did more idle damage than me so far. I want to take control of the board and really nail down that middle idol. Nail it down. And I will do that. Oh, whoops. Stupid phone. Alright, I'm going to put a Skythorn here. Move you guys up. You up to Kinfolk Ranger Gravehawk. And I think that is pretty good. Alright, I don't think the phone's running. Ringing anymore. Alright, there's literally a handheld phone, house phone, right next to my right next to my computer, so you can probably hear it. Pretty loud. Um But yeah, I played the Skythorn first, right? I did. Yeah, so that's why it has four countdown. And I think we're going to be fine in this game now. Especially because he didn't move down his Royal Skirmisher, which is the really only thing I'm afraid of. Any kind of Relentless is what I'm afraid of. So I'll keep that Champion Ring. And... I don't need to just damage out all this turn, so this is this is when Bear Paw comes in handy. I don't mind increasing the countdown. Now you're 6-6, six, six, which is awesome. And I want to take down Middle Idol. So we're just gonna keep our guys there. I'm not gonna move up. Because moving up would just I would lose my Berserker. I do it wouldn't die, but he would just get his warding stone back and I would just kill Breaker, but then these two guys could destroy me. So let's see. And three more creatures and we draw a scroll from that Skythorn unless he does something. Hopefully he doesn't have like a rumble and focuses and stuff. But I think this judgment run should be a, that's annoying waking zones. This judgment run should be a bit more fun for me than the past ones because I think this deck is not quite as strong as some other ones. And wow, how am I gonna destroy that waking stones? Crap. Um, sacrifice the mangy wolf. Ooh, we're we're, we're keeping this first skirmisher right there right now. I don't want to have to deal with him. I do not want to have to deal with him. Um. So, well, I don't want to lose stuff. I guess I'm going to have to lose stuff. I want to move you up, but that means... Actually, this breaker cannot move up because these two things are structures. So I'll move this thing up so I can deal one extra damage on the waking stones. Move you down because I don't want to take unnecessary damage. I am leaving my idols a little bit open. But that should be okay. And yeah, and I'll assert some more dominance on the top. No, on the bottom. Alright. So that Waking Stones is down to three health, and we're gonna have to deal with that. So let's see. And we do have a champion ring, but that could be used on either of my two relentless dudes. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay, uh... I'm going to... Try to... Just ping that wake zones again this turn. Off to destroy that wing spear. That thing has spiky four because of dominion. That's really annoying. <laughs> How the heck am I gonna destroy that without losing something? Ah! Now I'm definitely gonna have to lose something big. Sacrifice the vetter and draw another vetter and a bear, a sister of the bear. Now I can kill this royal skirmisher, but it's binary rooted, so I. Guess I don't need to kill that. 
Hmm. This is annoying. I think I should probably just destroy the Waking Stones this turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to stay out of the... Yeah, I have to stay out of the way of this. The Royal Skirmisher's Path is attacking the stone. So there, Waking Stone is destroyed. Um, I don't want to give up the Revolt and the Ranger, but it will just die if it attacks this Wingspear. It says Spiky 4. Um, but if I move it here, it's going to be destroyed by the Sister of the Bear. I guess I'd rather have it destroyed by the Sister of the Bear and... And piece one damage on this wing spear. I don't think it's a huge deal. And I'll play a sister of the bear right here, and a ventral letter on top. Awesome. And now, tons of attack coming in next turn with my relentless guys. I have a champion ring in hand too. If I had a rally or a god hand in this deck, that'd be awesome. Not too many, not too many tricks up my sleeve in this deck. Pretty standard. Being monocolor does give me advantage on limited format because the opponent probably has a little bit slower deck because it has to sacrifice more resources. But the binding roots really helped. And the, the deck just cycle cycled, so I'll have another binding root. Because the. Alright, he does surrender. Um. I guess, I guess, yeah, he was at a pretty bad position because I had this 7 attack uh, Relentless Guy and 2 attack Relentless Guy right there attacking next turn. So, I guess that surrender was justified. Um, so hopefully I'll get more wins with this deck and keep on playing scrolls, scrollgers, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, submit your top plays to me for top plays of the week. Should be one this Friday. Um, at, so submit them to NerfDinja at gmail.com. And that'll be it for today. So keep on scrolling and get ready for waypoints and the scrolls release. Thank you for watching. See you next time.